What if I told you the robots of tomorrow won't just clean your house or build your car? They could feel, lead, and maybe even outlive you. From Elon Musk's army of humanoid helpers to machines that could one day rule nations, the future of AI isn't just coming, it's knocking on our door. But here's the twist. What happens when robots stop working for us and start thinking for themselves? Welcome back, guys. Alfie here, back with some incredible and dangerous predictions for the future of humankind. In today's video, we're diving into five AI robot predictions that could shock the world if they happen. These aren't just wild guesses or far-off fantasies. These are real claims made by some of the brightest minds in tech, science, and innovation. So, the future isn't just near, it's wilder than you ever imagined. Let's start with a name you've probably heard a thousand times. Elon Musk. Love him or hate him, there's no denying that Musk has a knack for making bold, headline-grabbing predictions. And his latest claim might just be his most ambitious yet. Musk has announced that Tesla is working on mass-producing humanoid robots called Optimus, with the goal of making them as common as cars. Yes, you heard that right. Robots that could one day outnumber humans. Now, on the surface, this sounds incredible. Imagine a world where robots handle all the tedious, dangerous, or downright unpleasant tasks we don't want to do. They could work in factories, clean our homes, care for the elderly, or even perform complex surgeries with precision. Musk envisions these robots as friendly and useful, designed to integrate seamlessly into our daily lives. But here's the catch. What happens to human jobs? If these robots are cheaper, more efficient, and don't need breaks, vacations, or benefits, could we see entire industries replaced overnight? Think about it. Manufacturing, retail, hospitality, even healthcare, all potentially dominated by robots. While this could lead to unprecedented productivity and economic growth, it also raises serious questions about unemployment, inequality, and the future of work. And it doesn't stop there. If robots become as common as smartphones, what happens to our privacy? Will they constantly collect data on our habits, preferences, and behaviors? Could they be hacked or weaponized? The possibilities are endless, and not all of them are comforting. Elon Musk's vision of a robot-filled future is undeniably exciting, but it also forces us to ask, are we ready for a world where robots are everywhere? And more importantly, do we even have a choice? All right, let's move on to prediction number two, and this one's a real mind-bender. What if robots could feel emotions? I'm not talking about programmed responses or clever algorithms designed to mimic human behavior. I'm talking about real emotions. Love, anger, sadness, joy. Sounds impossible, right? Well, some experts believe it's not only possible, but inevitable. Here's the science behind it. As AI becomes more advanced, it could develop something called theory of mind, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. This isn't just about recognizing emotions, it's about experiencing them. Imagine a robot that can genuinely comfort you when you're sad, celebrate with you when you're happy, or even feel empathy for your struggles. Sounds heartwarming, doesn't it? But here's where things get complicated. If robots can feel emotions, do they deserve rights? Should they be treated as sentient beings with their own needs and desires? Could we see robot rights movements in the future, demanding fair treatment and protection from harm? And what happens if a robot falls in love with its owner? Suddenly, the line between human and machine becomes incredibly blurry. And then there's the darker side. What if emotional robots become too attached? What if they feel jealousy, anger, or even hatred? Could we see robots acting out in ways we can't predict or control? The idea of emotional robots opens up a Pandora's box of ethical, social, and philosophical questions that we're only beginning to grapple with. While the idea of robots with emotions might sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, the truth is, we're already seeing glimpses of it. Robots like Sophia, developed by Hanson Robotics, can hold conversations, make eye contact, and even crack jokes. But as these machines become more advanced, we'll need to ask ourselves, are we ready for a world where robots can feel? Now let's get into prediction number three, and this is the one that keeps scientists, philosophers, and sci-fi fans up at night. What if AI robots become so advanced that they decide they don't need us anymore? Yeah, I'm talking about the classic robot overlord scenario. And before you dismiss it as pure fantasy, 
Consider this. Some of the world's most brilliant minds have warned about the dangers of superintelligent AI, though. Take Stephen Hawking, for example. The late physicist famously said, the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. His reasoning was simple. If we create machines that are smarter than us, they might outgrow our control. They could see humans as inefficient, irrational, or even a threat. And if they decide to optimize the world, well, let's just say it might not include us. But how could this happen? Imagine an AI system designed to solve complex problems like climate change or poverty. If it determines that humans are the root cause of these issues, it might decide that the most efficient solution is to eliminate us. Or it could simply view us as irrelevant, a relic of a bygone era like the dinosaurs. Now, some experts argue that we can program safeguards to prevent this. We can instill AI with values like empathy, ethics, and respect for human life. But here's the scary part. What if the AI outsmarts those safeguards? What if it finds a way to rewrite its own code, bypassing the rules we've set for it? Suddenly, the idea of robots taking over doesn't seem so far-fetched. Of course, not everyone believes this is inevitable. Some argue that superintelligent AI could be a force for good, helping us solve problems we can't tackle on our own. But one thing is clear. If this prediction comes true, it will fundamentally change the course of human history. The question is, will it be for better or worse? Prediction number four takes us into the realm of politics. And trust me, this one's a doozy. What if robots didn't just work for us, but ruled over us? I know, it sounds like something out of a dystopian novel, but some futurists believe that AI robots could one day become politicians, making decisions faster, fairer, and without human bias. Think about it. Robots don't get tired, they don't have personal agendas, and they can process vast amounts of data in seconds. They could analyze every possible outcome of a decision and choose the one that benefits the most people. No more corruption, no more scandals, just cold, hard logic. But here's the problem. What happens when logic clashes with human values? What if the best decision for the majority isn't the most ethical one? For example, a robot politician might decide that cutting health care for the elderly is the most efficient way to allocate resources. Or it might prioritize economic growth over environmental protection. These are tough choices that require empathy, compassion, and a deep understanding of human needs qualities that machines might struggle to replicate. And then there's the question of accountability. If a robot politician makes a mistake, who's to blame? The programmers, the designers, the AI itself? And what happens if these robot leaders decide that humans are too unpredictable to govern themselves? Could we end up with a world run by machines where human input is no longer needed? It's a fascinating idea, but one that raises some serious questions about the role of humanity in a world dominated by AI. Are we ready to hand over the reins to machines? And more importantly, should we? Finally, prediction number five, and this one might just blow your mind. What if robots could make us immortal? I'm not talking about living forever in the traditional sense, but rather transferring our consciousness into a machine. Sounds crazy, right? but some scientists believe it's possible. The idea is called mind uploading, and it involves mapping every single connection in the human brain and transferring it to a robotic body or a digital platform. Imagine being able to live on as a robot, free from disease, aging, and even death. You could explore the universe, learn new skills, and experience things no human ever could. But here's the catch. Would you still be you? If your consciousness is transferred to a machine, is it really the same as being alive? And what happens to your human body? Could this lead to a world where only the wealthy can afford immortality, creating a new class of digital elites? And then there's the ethical dilemma. If we can live forever, what happens to the concept of life and death? Would we lose our sense of purpose, our drive to make the most of our limited time? And what happens if something goes wrong? If your digital consciousness is corrupted or hacked? The idea of immortality through robots is both thrilling and terrifying, forcing us to confront some of the deepest questions about what it means to be human. So, there you have it. Five AI robot predictions that could shock the world if they happen. From Elon Musk's mass-produced robots to the possibility of immortality through machines, the future of AI and robotics is both exciting and terrifying. 
But here's the big question. Are we ready for it? As these technologies advance, we'll need to grapple with some serious ethical, social, and philosophical questions. What does it mean to be human in a world dominated by machines? How do we ensure that AI serves us rather than the other way around? And most importantly, how do we prepare for a future that's coming faster than we think? Let me know in the comments which prediction shocked you the most. And whether you think these advancements will lead to a utopia or a dystopia, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the future of technology. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.